So Simon, why do you call your technique mind measuring, MM? I'm working with people's emotions and thoughts and feelings. And if I can measure that so they can see progress taking place session by session, how fantastic could that be? So mind measuring. What I do is I help to change almost the natural resource, but safely. So therefore we can start just to reduce the brakes a little. So the resistance of life starts to just diminish. So people's natural confidences and self-assurance can come to the fore. So then of course, if you feel good, you are good. You look good, you feel fantastic. And that's what I'm all about. But if it's measurable, then people then can see progress. And when you feel progress, that's just wonderful. Is it the same as other therapies? Not at all. Most therapies just practice making change. What I want to do is to help measure that change. I'm working with people's thoughts and feelings, their emotions, their fears, their phobias. So I'm recalibrating negatives and the positives. And often the symptoms will just automatically go. Everybody wants to be something maybe they're not. So therefore they can have an optimism, an expectation, they want to fulfil their potential and I can help them fulfil that. But most importantly, I start at the beginning. I measure the negatives. We grow up with negatives. We're told off all of our lives. We're told what and what we can't do. So therefore, if I can measure that by putting a flag in the ground, then we know a fantastic starting point. Many therapists will say where we've been, where we are, where we're going. I actually just want to know where we are right now. So that measuring point is the starting point. And then we can measure the success from there on in. I do that subconsciously, of course. That wonderful relaxed state between being awake and asleep. And most therapies will work on a variety of different relaxation techniques. So it's, it's fantastic for anybody, actually. So what condition can it help? Fears, phobias, illnesses, psychosomatic illnesses, um, weight, uh, a whole series of things. Family dynamics, anything where people need to feel that they are changing things in their lives for the good. Does it really work? Of course. Does it work on everyone? Not at all. Only for those that really want to make change. The time has got to be right for those people. I'll have Mrs Smith ringing me up and asking for therapy for Mr Smith. Mr Smith comes to my therapy room and doesn't want to make that change. So of course it wouldn't work with him. It only works with people who are ready to make that change. A life changing change. Have you ever felt? Yes, with Mr Smith. Tell us about it. Well. Mrs Smith wants her husband to change and so therefore he comes to me and isn't ready, doesn't want to, is sceptical. So therefore, of course it wouldn't work. What happens in a session? Every session is different because we're all different and the dynamics of every session can change. And of course, as people get used to feeling better about themselves, everything's going to change session by session. But generally I will talk and discuss and listen to their week and how things have changed. I'm really only interested in the negatives though because if they felt good I wouldn't be there in the first place. So I'm very interested in their breaks, in the resistance of what's going on in their life. And towards the end of the session I will help them to relax with certain techniques that are known to most people, relaxation techniques, where I help them to change from a conscious state, so that's how we are right now, into a subconscious state, which is kind of a sleep, the combination of being awake and asleep, like daydreaming. And that's where I can do my best work and help them to facilitate that change and then measure it. This is not a deep hypnotic state, it is not. And of course it's not unconscious, because that's when you're asleep. So it's that on the cusp of just relaxing and almost just drifting off. And it's lovely. People, people love it. And they come away feeling refreshed and revitalised and re-energised, but with a purpose. Are your clients always in control? I use the word control in my therapy sessions all the time. But what I'm doing is I'm transferring control 
to my clients. They take control of their lives. How we think is how we feel. And how we feel determines how we act and behave. And that's so, so important. So if people feel good and can see that measurement taking place week by week, their weight going down, their weight going up, their fears and phobias changing, the symptoms changing, then that is such a wonderful thing for people that they start to gain confidence. And once they have the confidence, they don't need a therapist anymore. They go out and face life in their own way, in their own particular way, and that's so, so important. So what I'm going to do with every client is to help build a foundation stone for them to feel so fantastic that they can go out and do what they want to do. Tell us in a few words, what do you want to achieve? I work with lots of people in television and film and theatre and professional sport. Now these are high achievers, but they're still like us, everyday people, who have fears and phobias and worries and concerns. So if we can just get those as the foundation stone and more positive, people can go and achieve whatever they want to achieve. So a few more words than just a few words, but that's the essence of what any therapist wants to achieve, what their client wants to achieve. So I want to be able to take the ambiguity out of therapy. How many sessions does it normally take? Everyone's different, we're not machines, everyone's different. So normally between six, seven, eight sessions. I like to be able to move people forward within six because the first few sessions, getting them used to the process, I'm measuring, I'm managing, I'm changing things massively week by week. Then the last few sessions, I just get them used to the new change. It's called their new reality, just getting them used to feeling good. It sounds really fantastic and I just wonder if other therapists can use that method, um, MM my measuring absolutely and it's an interesting question a fantastic question because right now i'm looking to help other therapies and therapists measure their success one of the big problems i think with alternative therapy is that clients do think it's alternative it should be complementary it should be complementing mainstream medicine and so therefore if i can help the therapists to show just how good they are at what they do for their clients how wonderful could that be? So yes, I'm teaching other therapists right now how to show their clients what wonderful changes they're making for them. So Simon, how do people contact you? They come onto my website, simonedwards.com. So where do you like to work with people? I like to go to people's houses actually because one of the most exciting things for me is if I can see the dynamic of their own environment, the home environment, it tells me everything. So I like people to be comfortable and confident about what uh, I'm doing with them. Thank you very much, Simon, and I wish you best of luck with MM, my measuring. Thank you.